What's up everyone, Luxide here on the Clear Cryptos YouTube channel. Appreciate you guys stopping in to check out the video. Okay, we wanna to talk today about the sentiment that is changing around crypto right now. And there is a, something that is showing that the tides may be turning for the better. Now, before we go ahead and dive right into what I'm talking about, if you are new to the channel or haven't already, please show your support, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell, stay notified anytime there's new content live here on the channel. So the title of this article reads a bearish sentiment among institutional investors dissipating as big players stop shorting Bitcoin. <clears throat> so if you're not familiar with the crypto market, if it's your first time, obviously welcome. So Bitcoin is kind of the big dog in town. Okay. It pretty much the entire market is correlated to the price of Bitcoin and the moves that Bitcoin makes. Now, when someone is shorting Bitcoin, what that means is they're borrowing Bitcoin, they're selling it on the market and trying to buy it back cheaper. And when they buy it back cheaper and return it, they basically keep the profit. That's how shorting works. So right now, there are signs of a more bullish sentiment on the horizon. And what is happening right now is short BTC products suffered 15 million in outflows, which basically means people are <clears throat> covering their short positions. They're taking their money out. They want no part to do with shorting right now. And this could mean a positive sign for the future. <clears throat> so we know there's you know going to be reports that are coming up. There's more macroeconomic conditions that are happening that have been you know suppressing the, the price of crypto for quite some time. Inflation has been a big part of that. Well, the Fed has been working really hard, obviously, to help combat inflation and bring those numbers down. And eventually we're going to get to a point where you know, inflation starts to come down, interest rates start to come down as well. And the economy as a whole, not just here in the US, but, as, you know, worldwide be, continues to recover. And this is typically the things that you start to see before this happens. Okay. You start to see, you know, people get out of the bearish sentiment and start to uh, feel a little bit more bullish, or at least just have their money on the sidelines just in case. Okay. So I wanted to share this metric with you guys <clears throat> because I thought this was really interesting to see. I hadn't paid much attention to, you know, what was going on with Bitcoin shorting, uh, at least as of late. You can see a nice little chart here that shows the inflows and outflows of shorting, and it's based on um, the number of weeks in that year. So you can see, you know, 41 weeks in here, you can see the outflow of about 15, uh, you know, 15 uh, million dollars of you know, money for shorting. So you can see there's obviously big spikes that happen here and there. If we got some really bad, you know, news, we might see a spike in there again, but at least at the point that we're at right now, everything seems to be going accordingly, at least to the, the Fed's plan about how to manage inflation and stuff like that. But obviously anything can happen. Crypto moves fast, but I at least wanted to share this information with you guys. As always, I appreciate you stopping out and checking out the video. Uh, again, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell, stay updated and notified anytime there's new content live here on the channel. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope to catch you in the next one.